back in those days, those areas were really uh, kind of ghetto areas, run down, uh, sideline, marginalized, uh, undesirable areas. What eventually happens is that as London, you know, starts to you know progress and develop, and more and more um, better infrastructure, better transport links, and so forth, areas like these, the hood, the ghetto, so called. They, uh, the value, the land values go up and up and up and up and up. People who can't afford in the more lucrative parts start to move out into the next affordable places. And then you have places like Notting Hill basically becoming completely unaffordable. Black people, we, it, we, we always do seem to almost be like, you know, not subject in all of this. We're just objects. We're like, we're just there to be priced out of certain areas. Our shops, whenever we build anything, whenever we, whenever we have, uh, you know, bookshops, and record shops and all these kinds of things. Whenever we build some, Tottenham is another example, area I know very well. Over the four, three, four years that I was living there, it went from body music, the big body music, you know, then body music, there was, there were, the landlord wanted to kick them out. David Lammy got involved to try and save body music records. And then eventually, last thing I saw in West Green Road, body music was gone and the head turned into a Costa coffee. And Tottenham Hell was another one. Tottenham Hell, that's where Mark Duggan was shot, just right near Tottenham Hell. And but you try buying a property in Tottenham Hell, you're you're crazy. It just it's just not going to happen. Again, Tottenham, very black area. It will not be a very black area for very long. Trust me. And I suppose you know a question to be had is you know how can you how can you counteract that? What can you do as a community to counteract that? Maybe it's because people are kind of acting as individuals a bit too much they're not thinking about okay well how can we as a people as a community local community how can we collaborate and cooperate and turn this area into something that we wanted to turn into and this is where i don't like to compare different racial groups you know because there's different we've all got different histories we've all come from different kinds of backgrounds even economic backgrounds but but that is that is where there is a conversation to be had with regard to asians you know, South Asians in the UK, where they've been able to um, turn certain parts of the London and certain parts of other cities in Britain into enclaves that are, you know, well-to-do, so-called. Um, is there something that we can work? I don't know. Uh, we can learn from? I don't know.